The global semiconductor supply chain is in crisis, and all eyes are on the Netherlands and the ongoing dispute involving ASMI semiconductors. The situation remains volatile, with industry clients facing potential shutdowns. Just a few days ago, on November 27th, ASMI Semiconductors, based in the Netherlands, sent an open letter urging its Chinese leadership to quickly communicate and cooperate to restore the supply chain, following the direction of global management. However, this issue goes far beyond mere corporate talks. The core problem lies with the Dutch government's actions. On November 26th, the Ministry of Commerce in China had frank discussions with German and EU officials. While the Netherlands did suspend an administrative order, China made it clear this was a superficial gesture. The fundamental issues of improper administrative and judicial interference with the company have not been cancelled. This interference, using a Cold War era law under the pretext of national security, is the source of the chaos and has no precedent in Europe. The EU has acknowledged that it's thanks to China's efforts that a complete supply chain meltdown has been avoided, but the underlying issue persists. Simply put, the Netherlands is presenting the appearance of wanting to resolve the problem without taking any substantive action. They are holding the stability of the entire industrial chain, which affects countless automotive and electronics firms, hostage to what is viewed as geopolitical prejudice. Until the Dutch government cancels its improper interventions and offers a genuine, constructive solution, any corporate communication is essentially meaningless. The anxiety of clients facing shutdowns is real. If the supply chain collapses, the responsibility will squarely fall on the Netherlands.